I chose ODU because I felt very welcomed. My name is Angie Soto. I'm a cybersecurity major and I am studying at ODU. I'm Bolivian American, meaning that I, my parents are Bolivian, but I was born here. My hometown is Arlington, Virginia. Basically, we grew up with that mindset of achieving your goals. My parents are the ones who actually inspired me to go to college. I heard their stories back in Bolivia. It wasn't a good education at all. And that's why they were like, we came to this country for you and your sisters. So we don't want you to go through what we went through. You know, we want you to be a professional in life. I'm a very proud first generation student because learning the sacrifices and everything that my parents had to go through to get here from Bolivia, it was not an easy journey at all. And I do it for them. The day I graduate and cross that stage, I'm gonna be looking at them because it's not only my diploma, it's their diploma too. I knew by the age of eight that I wanted to do something related to computers. My parents did not know any English, so due to that, I was from a young age translating everything. And I'll never forget when my parents, my dad especially, he bought his first PC and he was like, Angie, I don't know how to like read this, can you do it? And I'm like an eight year old, I was like, sure dad, I got it. That was my first introduction to cables, to switches, to routers, and I liked it. I liked how that feeling of me helping an older person. I knew I wanted to do with computers, but I specifically did not know what. So I did computer graphics, I did computer science, I learned computer engineering, like, you know, I studied all that. But then I finally realized around my junior year of cybersecurity that the governor actually came to my high school at that time and he was saying that actually it's a good field for you guys to get involved into it because uh, years later on, it will be something that many employers will be looking. And I researched more about it. I took actually took a dual enrollment course and I was like, this is it, this is for me. This is exactly what I was doing. ODU really is helping the cybersecurity students, especially because in the cybersecurity program, you can't graduate unless you get an internship and I feel that's a good encouragement for us students within the program because as we're in an internship, maybe it works out good and we can, after graduation, we can work there as full-time employees. The one course I really loved taking at ODU was digital forensics. You're using softwares or encryption tools to get to that and like solve the problem. But once I leave from ODU, I'm really hoping to work in an internship or be a full-time employee at some firm or a government work. If you're a girl and you're a minority and you're into STEM, go for it. Because if let's say if you're the only girl going into a STEM class and you see a lot of men, go in there and be like, I'm gonna be that change. I know what I want and I'm gonna get it. And I'm gonna overcome this obstacle. I want to leave my legacy in the Hispanic community because the Hispanic community has helped me. So I wanna give back. My main goal is to finally buy my parents a house in Arlington. My name is Angie Soto. I am a cybersecurity major at ODU, and I am a future cybersecurity expert.